New Pet Simulator 99 update is way too pay to win. This is probably going to be a very controversial video that I am uploading as there is a lot of drama sparking Pet Simulator 99. I bet you've heard some of it and at the same time I am sure you have not heard some of the rest. You're probably wondering why are people saying that this new update is very pay to win. It has nothing to do with the fact that they have now added a pop up with telling you which egg to buy and the sketch egg right in the game because i mean who really cares they've done exclusive eggs every update and not only the fact that the forever pack is now updated and you can actually get some new rewards which some people are not happy about because you can be provided with some rewards in this egg that do not really um go for the price and sometimes you can actually get stuff that are way too good for their price and people just simply think that it is a way to pay to win you're probably wondering well why do people hate this update when they literally promised that you could get exclusive eggs for free that was one of the biggest hype ups in this entire update they literally had an entire tweet about this saying next update free exclusive eggs and that you could get them by finding and breaking this giant egg and it happens randomly currently at the time i am recording this you can actually not even get it it has actually come to a lot of people's attention that no matter how long and where you're grinding this egg does not spawn you can literally go through every single area in the game at any time of the day and it will just not spawn as you can see rgl leagues posted this tweet saying apparently the free giant exclusive has a zero percent chance of spawning and when you actually take a look at it you can see that right here there is a chance and it is set to zero it is allowed to be spawned anywhere on the map and the playtime requirement is five which means five minutes and it lasts for 600 seconds but the chances of it spawning is zero so unless it's fixed by the time this video is up i'm so sorry for your chances because you're not getting one but that is only a tiny part of everything that has gone controversial since this update came out recently there has been a rise in exploiters inside of the game and they have been able to exploit a bunch of huge pets into the game that nobody knew about one of the huge pets is the huge uh cyber agony that can be found inside of the tech chest and you have a chance of getting it every single time you open it it will take you a bit to get it but overall it is a pretty easy huge like you can go ahead and spend your time submitting this for however long you want but it will take you a little bit of time and you should not be able to get it insanely fast or at least that is what we thought there is this website called petslim 99 rap and it basically shows you every single data inside of the game like you can see daily movers which is just change in pet rap as well as things such as how many pets exist in the entire world and the market cap if i go ahead and search up this very same huge pet the huge cyborg agony you will see that boom right here it has a result and its wrap is 46 million if i go ahead and click this you will see there is a drastic rise in the exist count and this is way worse if I set it to the last week because as you can see, there was a sudden spike right here on the 9th, which was yesterday for me. Um, there was a massive spike made and this exist count increased from 32,000 all the way up to 50,000 in just under a few hours. A lot of people believe that there was a um, chance change. For example, they made a lot a lot easier but after some research we found out that there was no difference in the chance and a few hours later we actually found out it was exploiters and this is where all the controversy starts the big games developers had gotten in contact with the exploiters and they promised to help them fix it however they wanted something in return and it was not money 
all the developers requested for was actually just something in the game after all the developers or the exploiters were actual um like players of the game so they just wanted something in the game such as pets and titanics and what did the developers do they gave them rainbow shiny titanic pets as you can see right here sizzles took a picture with all four rainbow shiny of these titanics you can see they have a rainbow shiny titanic atlantean jellyfish a um a huge or an anime agony or i forgot what it's even called bro something agony um a rainbow shiny titanic cat as well as a rainbow shiny nightmare cat oh yeah it's called the neon agony that's what it was called but the problem with this is if you don't know these pets do not actually exist in the game and the developers willingly agreed to give these exploiters who have just helped them fix a bug over 50 titanics worth of value is the price justified did they help enough to actually be able to get this reward personally although i believe that they have fixed a big bug which it was a massive bug by the way that the developers could not find without the help of these exploiters and it's a very common practice for developers to um pay uh, people that help fix bugs even if they're exploiters every roblox game does that and it's a very popular practice in order to be able to actually fix these bugs but most of the time it is dealt with actual money and not an in-game currency that is so good to get that you could literally do like anything with them like dude my rarest pet i think it would be this huge pegasus and i don't even think this can afford one of these pets bro and by the way, that was a $20,000 pet. If you didn't know, it was an NFT. Personally, my take is that yes, it is fair that the developers did pay these exploiters to help fix a bug. However, the reward that the exploiters or that, that the developers gave the exploiters, I think is not fair at all. I think there was definitely a lot better ways to go about it than giving them a one-of-one one Titanic, especially considering the fact they can trade it. As you can see, Siddle Sizzles was able to actually trade it right here, and it is tradable inside of the game. So I think the least that the developers could have done is make these specific pets untradeable from the game, so that way this does not happen again. And I believe the developers have actually done this before, but it has not been to this major amount of pets like last time i think this happened maybe they gave them a few titanics or like a few huge pets and i think that is what they should have done however since these guys had developed over twenty thousand of the huge cyborg agonies giving them those would really not help and they probably would just not care if you did give them huge pets i do definitely think that those cyborg agonies should be wiped from the game because they are trading them like these exploiters still have these cyborg agonies and having 30,000 of them which is about what they have but i'm gonna just say 20,000 in case you haven't done the math um the wrap for it is 46 million so if i do 46 million and i multiply it by let's say 20,000 they have 20,000 that is over 920 billion in wrap this is enough to place them number four on on the leaderboard and if you were to sell those and let's say you were just able to sell them for the same price or just even a little bit cheaper you would make so much profit so these guys had already basically gave themselves a, a rainbow shiny titanic pet with one of these pets or with a bunch of these pets and they were basically given another which yes i understand you want to reward somebody who just helped to fix a bug instead of like like giving it to everybody in the game and then the bug gets even worse but is it really necessary to give them a rainbow shiny titanic pet each you're also probably wondering how these exploiters were actually able to do this it honestly did not take them much efforts to be able to run this exploit but it is a little bit more complicated than i'm gonna make it sound so all of these chests are ran by a remote key or a remote script whatever you want to call it the game just functions like the ability for this chest to open and give you these rewards it is basically running a remote script the way these guys were able to do it was they basically 
basically spammed the remote script with exploits. They spammed it very hard to the point where it broke and it basically just continuously opened its chest way more than it should have at a way too fast of a pace. So they were constantly opening this and after like a night's worth of grinding, you know what happened. And that is not really the only topic I wanted to discuss in this video, although that is everything that I know for that topic. There is probably a lot of information regarding it, but be careful what you listen to because some of it may be true, some of it may be false, but everything I have provided with you in this video, I can guarantee is true. The next issue we run to is a brand new feature that they have done in this update. With the introduction of IX or tier 9 enchants, they actually introduced a, a new type of, I guess, like gameplay style all the way at area 162 the enchant empowering machines as you probably know you can just enter this area go over here to the enchant essence and just use any type of enchants you have and basically make enchant essence then you can obviously go in here and you can use some essence to make your enchant empower however every single enchant inside of the game that you can empower has a breaking down feature meaning if i were to use multiple of the same enchant let's for example say i were to use a bunch of these critical enchants after like for example three of them i believe it becomes weaker to use another one that is because the game is detecting how much percent this is actually giving you and if your percentage is already too high it is not going to be as good to equip another one another reason this is kind of the way it is i mean i guess the developers like don't want you to be able to equip all a coin in chance and then get max coins in a matter of seconds because this will not work efficiently like if i were to test this out it would not work out a lot the same with like any other enchant in the game and well whenever you empower your enchants this is exactly what is being caused for a long time i thought this was a myth until i actually asked one of the developers joey who also happens to apparently be a part of you know the huge exploit thing but a few days before that i did contact him and he was a very nice guy to talk to because he explained it to me and proved this true i ended up messaging him myself uh, telling him um i'm currently recording a video and i was wondering whether or not the empower enchants feature actually worked or not and i basically questioned that it does diminish after a while and as you can see he confirmed that yeah it was tested but maybe diminishing returns to some extent it's meant so that instead of having three crit books um e equipped you could have two empowered and then use that for uh, or use that extra slot for other stuff but maybe we will rethink it and balance it differently so basically what he is saying is whenever you empower an enchant they want you to be replacing one of the extra ones that you had equipped with a completely different enchant so that you're not wasting the slot and although this makes sense and it would make it effective i still don't really like the fact that it is like that because most people don't know that i bet this is most likely the first time you heard about it so it's now really essential to make sure whenever you actually like for example put it on these crit ones that i don't equip anymore because it will be pointless if i do so same with like any other enchant such as treasure because it is going to hit that diminishing cap and then it's gonna start making your enchant just terrible i promise we are almost done with this video but there is still one more topic we have to talk about and i actually hate this one too and it is to do with this stupid xp potions machine right here in this machine you can craft potions such as a huge titanic mastery or ultimate xp potion and you need a variety of stuff to do it i mean some include like certain keys you have to have certain enchants um you have like certain bucket of magics and stuff like that and you're probably wondering how this is a problem a lot of people like rinrox who is a top clan competing to win this clan board did say a couple of thoughts on the new team battles for the devs to please consider 
and the first one was that xp potions are going to be very hard to craft soon as ingredients run out and teams will start to stall on those quests which will be a blocker for a lot of people to compete although this may seem cheap for the first few to create it does turn out being very expensive very fast i don't think even my clan has gotten through it yeah as you can see they still lowered it however it's still at a ridiculous amount like for some reason this one is consume 120 xp potions which we are still not done with and this one is consume 40 xp potions which they did change and they have actually put out the change already funny thing is we still have not completed this one right here ever since the update came out so looking at our clan position we are number 237 which i mean who honestly cares at this point bro i give up on clan wars clan wars have probably been one of the most toxic features inside of the game and honestly i am so surprised that the developers don't just remove it it is always also like the same clans winning i mean that there is no problem in that except the fact that a lot of these top clans are using things such as macros to be out of afk meaning they're not actually putting in any type of like 24 7 effort except their auto clickers but i'll let you be the judge of that let me know if you like or hate clan wars and what is your favorite part and your least favorite part about this update they definitely introduced a lot of pay to win features and i'm surprised they did not give out these sketch eggs like they were supposed to with the exclusive huge event but i do have a bit of eggs here so let's just go ahead and open eight because why not come on can we get a titanic and then off this video well please and oh okay hold up we're getting something let it go let's go it is it's shaking it's shaking it's growing and it's a huge pet bro that is probably like the millionth huge pet i've gotten without getting a single titanic from those eggs if you enjoyed this video watch the video on the screen right here i think you will enjoy it a lot please click it i promise you'll enjoy it youtube has chosen for you and they believe it is the best video for you until then, I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye. You better click that video, bro. I'm waiting.